Good day, XO family. Welcome back to another family vlog. No, no, no. It is not a reaction video. It is just a mere representation. I, I don't think I said that right. At all. Hmm. Stephanie, Stephanie, look, 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 look. Respect the fire. But I'm here to put out the flame. See... Over the years I've been on YouTube, I've, I've dealt with a matter and bunch of people just like you who think they're doing it, they're, they're doing it for all good. They're doing it for all mankind, okay? But you're not. You're hurting yourself and your channel. And I'm going to give you a few tips on that real quick, okay? So, a long, long time ago on this channel... I got into a YouTube war with a chica by the name of Truthfully Trisha. And although, okay, al although it was, it's, it's kind of fun for me in a way, but, um, <clears throat> It also hurts your channel. Because new viewers, they go to your channel and they see all this negative content. Like negativity, nothing but downplay. And it it drains you, almost. Are, are you feeling a little drained? And you say I didn't do my research and everything like that. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. And I've known Byron for years. And whether or not he's trying to get a label started up or not, that, that, that's none of our business. And no, Byron isn't a predator. You're just using this shit for nothing, really. You're, you're, just, you're, you're looking for views and content. You're bored, I know. And I'm, I'm also going to explain something else to you. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me play this real quick. See, Melinda, when you're trying to make fun of someone, you look like an idiot, but you also showed yourself to be the racist idiot you are. Just listen to what she says this quote-unquote look is. I decided we're going to call this the Indian girl look. Okay, we're going to call this the Indian girl look today. I Last time I checked, they referred to as Native American. So that's a racial slur in and of itself. Number one. Number two, why, why would you call it that? Why don't you explain to us why you would call it that? <clears throat> that, that's not racist. That just, you just screamed city girl. <laughs> You just yelled out to the top of your lungs. I'm a city girl. My name is Karen. You want to know how I know that's not racist, Stephanie? Because I'm Native American. <gasps> that's right, everybody. You're white redneck, white trash trailer park. YouTuber is Cherokee. I am Cherokee German. That I have Latinos and Latinas in my family, and also I have Asians in my family. Overall, my family is one big mixture of a mutt. Which side of the family do I get the Native American from? My mother's. My grandpa is Cherokee. And he is full-blown. You want to know why you can still say the word Indian? Or Indian? It's because it's not racist. 
It's only racist if you look at it that way. And nine times out of ten, Stephanie, guess what? You may have found it racist, but you're white as a fucking pinkle. You are as white as a albino rabbit. So, no, it's not racist. And for those of you who are leaving comments like this, first of all, can't see them on the video, so there's really no point in posting those. I literally have to go into my studio and look at them personally in order to see them. But... The rebel flag is not racist. That is not at all what that flag is intended for or what it means. And well, pretty much how I know that is I grew up southern. I grew up in the south. I was raised in the south. I live on the borderline in between Oklahoma and Arkansas. I was raised in Cane Hill, aka where the bat, where where the Civil War went through. I was raised on the same land Confederate and Union soldiers died on. I was raised on a historical land site. For God's sakes, if you dig like six feet into the ground there, nine times out of ten, you were going to find either a skeleton or a uniform or a rifle, something. Want to know why? Because the war went straight through there. It went through Prairie Grove, Arkansas, into Cane Hill, and out through there. Out to Clyde. Out tomorrow. Like, here's a map for you. And sure, slave slavery may have been part of like a, a factor in there, but that isn't all the war was about. And <laughs> for people to rise up and say, that hat is racist. You guys call them African Americans. I call them colored folk. <laughs> the African Americans would be so disappointed in you. Really? Really? You think so? Let me play something for you real quick. Why? Because I stand up for what I believe in. I'm influential to those who can't or are scared to. Grow a pair of deal with it. So I kept seeing the Confederate flag in Pennsylvania, and I just have one- News flash, kiddo. Here's a little education for you. The flag you're pointing at is not the Confederate flag. This is the Confederate flag. This was the flag flown in the Civil War by the Confederacy. Not the flag you are pointing at. The flag you are pointing at. This flag right here, this is the rebel flag. Okay? This is flag was actually created after the Civil War and after the seceding of the Union of the Confederacy. This flag is literally a rebel flag and can be flown by anybody in the United States that does not represent the southern states. It is heritage. And buddy, let me tell you something. That X is a Christian symbol. That X is Andrew up on that cross. Because Andrew knew that the first three words of Christ's name in Greek meant it was an honorable thing. If you didn't know how to read, write your name, you put an X on the paper because it was a Christian symbol. 
Don't you come around here telling me about what Beauregard and his men did. They had the stars and bars because they believed that you Yank friends hijacked the stars and stripes. And it looked so much alike in a battle when one of them, they heard men were shooting on their own men. And when the southern men chose this flag, they knew it was a Christian symbol. So don't come around here lying on my flag. And I feel no shame, I'm proud of where I came from. I was born and raised in the boondocks. Still want to go there? 97% of Southerners are colored, are black, African American, whatever you want to call them. 97%. And around 94% of them fly this flag. Want to know why? Because that flag doesn't mean slavery. This flag is a very important part of history and this flag means southern pride. Means we were proud to grow up in the south. Means we are proud that we have the best damn cooking in the whole world. And it means we're proud of our fried chicken. We can fry almost anything. All right. We are proud of our steaks, cattle, farms, and we are proud that we still live in a wooden area. Why? Because we can't stand city folk. I mean, we can if they come here, but if we go to the city, we don't fit in. We don't understand a damn word anybody's saying out there. I mean, for God's sakes, we go out there... First time I was ever in a city, I lived in Omaha, Nebraska for a little bit. Got out there. I was wearing boots. I hear we call them shit kickers. I was wearing a pair of blue jean overalls. An Arkansas hat. Like, ball cap. And underneath the overalls, I was wearing a buttoned up shirt. Got out there, was walking around. All I hear in the background is boom, boom, boom. Like, I, I was barely a teenager, so I was thinking someone was hunting. And all of a sudden, I see people running down the street. I'm just like, and this one, this one little boy walks up to me and he goes, you look ratchet. It's like, I look like a ratchet? What's with your accent? What accent? <laughs> Where's your ratchet? <laughs> I was asking him if he needed something fixed. <laughs> we don't fit in the city. So... You guys really need to do your research because nine times out of ten, if you get offended by a rebel hat, by a rebel flag, confederate flag at all, nine times out of ten, I bet you're white. I bet you're from the city. And I bet you have no idea. I bet you have no idea whatever happened in the Civil War. Because me, I grew up in a history land, a historical landmark called Cane Hill, Arkansas. So, please, oh please, try some more.
And as for you, Stephanie, you don't want this. Trust me. Don't mess with the Exo family. And if you continue on doing so, I'm going to continue doing this. See, Melinda, when you're trying to make fun of someone, you look like an idiot, but you also show yourself to be the racist idiot you are. Just listen to what she says. So, anyways, I'm about to stream some ARK Survival Evolved. If you guys want to join in, all you got to do is wait. Here's the thumbnail for it. We'll be going live here shortly after this premieres. So, if you don't want to miss it, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell. Join us in the live chat. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, Stephanie, change your channel around. Trust me. If you truly don't like someone's content, if you, if you just truly don't like what they're doing or you think it's wrong... If you actually have proof of anything like that, stop posting it on YouTube, or better yet, at least post it on YouTube while you're going to the police. You want to know what happened to the last person who is going to expose me? And I actually had proof. Like, I had proof of another YouTuber's bad behavior. He was hitting women, abusing them, everything like that. I actually had proof of that. Want to see what happened? He's locked up in jail. So, think smart. And I'd advise you not to come after the Exo family. We're strong-hearted and strong-willed. We love all, but we don't tolerate harassment, bullying, or negative influences. <laughs> we just don't. And notice how I'm keeping all of this positive. I'm smiling throughout all of this. You should try it. Love you.